Good morning. So I am on my way to Nordstrom again. I'd like to see you have a little bit of direction. I have direction. Yeah, towards the mall. This is the last video that I'll do for the early access and then I will do one more on Friday when the sale goes public. I want to do two separate ones because I know that Nordstrom will restock some things when the sale goes public. So if you have any specific things that you want me to try on because you can't get to a Nordstrom and talk to you about quality and sizing, let me know down below and I will try to my best to find it on Friday. And also, thank you guys so much for watching the video, for liking the video. I got some really positive feedback on this style of video. So I'm so glad that it was helpful for you guys. I so appreciate you. So let's go ahead and get going to Nordstrom. we go so this is the blank nyc suede moto jacket you'll see this all over instagram all over all the blogs it was very popular last year and i love this i've actually been trying to hunt this down because it comes in and out of stock especially in the gray color i got a small i find that it fits true to size it feels really nice the suede material and it doesn't feel too stiff which i like i like the silver hardware on it i just think it'd be great with like blush or black and I feel like it's very versatile. So I did purchase this. I think this is a great pick from the sale. Uh, don't wait on this one because I've been trying to stock it, trying to find it in my size. So if it's available, I'll link it down below. If it's available and you're interested, I would get it now versus later. And then I also got these jeans. These are jeans that I actually tried on in the last video that I showed you guys, but I didn't talk about them. These are the Hudson Barbara High Waist Skinnies. I love the deep wash of these jeans and they're very, very comfortable. Um, they look a little bit tight on me right now because I do think that Hudson stretch out. So I usually am between a 27 and a 28 and I ended up going with the 27. I like the ankle cut of them and I like that it's not a raw hem. And the next thing that I'm wearing is a Treasure and Bond plaid top. Now, if you are hesitant to get the rails top, then this is a good option. It is definitely more affordable and it feels very, very soft. It's not like a rails top, but it is very soft. It's a very lightweight material too. So I feel like it would be a good transition from summer to fall. And it just fit really well too. It is a little bit oversized, but I like that because then you can do the half tuck and just make it look very pulled together. This is a really nice top. Now this is something that I wasn't too crazy about. As you can see, it's very oversized and that just really isn't my style. I like things to actually fit, but I think that it could be cute if it's worn off the shoulder like I'm showing here, if you like oversized things. I just know that I couldn't get away with wearing this to work without a cami underneath because there are a lot of like crochet style holes in it and that just won't work. And this one is very similar to one that I tried on in my last video. This is the Wave Foster Pajama Top. The other one I tried was a white with black piping. This one is a true satin material. I actually love the color of this and it fit true to size to me. I got a small in the other one. This one is a small as well. You'll just need to wear a smooth bra underneath, but I thought it was very flattering and I actually kind of love this style. I really liked this blazer. It kind of has like a tweed look and feel to it. It felt very well made. It fit everywhere, except if I wanted to button it, I would have to go up a size. I was totally fine with wearing it open. I always wear my blazers open, but just an FYI for sizing for you guys. These jeans are one of the best finds out of the entire sale. I can't believe I hadn't tried them on until now. They're the Rag and Bone, the Dre jeans, and the color of the olive. Ugh, they are so flattering and they fit a little bit larger than the other drays that I tried on. So I don't know if that's some sort of issue with rag and bone sizing or what. I'm wearing a 27 here. I'm usually between a 27 and a 28, but these were super comfortable. They're a little bit more of a thicker jean material than some of the other ones that I've tried on, but very well made, highly recommend these. <laughs> I just cannot help but laugh when I look at myself in the shirt because I just really don't like it. I'm even laughing in the dressing room. I feel like I belong in a Shakespeare play. I think that this top just tried too many trends all at one time. It has the sheer sleeve with the ruffles, the cold shoulder, the high neck, the billowy blouse feel. I just was not a fan of this. Um, I'm sorry, if you bought this and you love it, I'm so sorry. I don't mean to offend anyone. It just did not look good on me and 
it was just a big no for me. I loved this shirt. It was super comfortable. I thought the material was really nice. I love the off the shoulder look and I love the pattern of it too. It came in a couple different colors and it wasn't until, wasn't until I tried it on that I realized it wasn't actually on sale. So that was a little bit disappointing, but I do have a uh, little shindig to go to next week. So I might end up purchasing this to wear to that anyways. I really love it. It's super cute and it wasn't an uncomfortable off the shoulder shirt, if you know what I mean. Wow, is all I have to say with this jacket. I tried this one on actually right after that blank NYC one, and this jacket just puts that one to shame in terms of quality. Once you put this on, it just feels luxurious. Like this feels like a very expensive jacket. As you can see from the price tag, it is more expensive, but I mean, wow, there is a huge difference between those two jackets. I'm wearing a six here. Uh, if I were to purchase this, I would get a four because I like a more fitted look, but this is a great jacket, you guys. Now on the other hand, this jacket is kind of one of those jackets that you can wear going out, big events, going to parties, all of that kind of stuff. It's very eye-catching. It's metallic, so it's very out there. I don't even go out that much anymore, you guys. So that's the only reason why I would not purchase this. I just wouldn't get the use out of it like somebody that is going out all the time would. You know, if you're in your 20s, if you're young, if you're still going out and partying all the time, this is super cool. Although I will say that it did smell a little strange. So just throwing that out there, but it did fit true to size. I keep trying to wear these super cool leggings and it's just not working out for me. These are the Zella Autumn High Waist Moto Legging. I found these to be true to size. I just don't like the mesh paneling that accentuates my thigh area. Uh, I thought that these fit really great. I'm 5'6 and they hit me pretty much right at the ankle. Now in the booty, they look nice in the booty, but when I lift up my shirt, you'll see my underwear line and I am wearing a lace thong. So these are kind of one of those underwear that you have to have extreme no-show panty lines or just go commando style. So I think they're super cute, just not on me. Okay, don't mind our bedroom. We're in the process of redoing it, so that's why there's no mattress on the bed. But anyways, when I got home, I had some packages arrive, so I wanted to try this on because I got this during the sale. I thought for sure I was going to return this. No, I'm keeping it. I love it. It's this nice, pine green colored jacket by Blank NYC. It has black hardware on it. It's just a super cool jacket and it is very affordable as well. I was never able to find this in store to try it on first. So definitely order this online and oh, I'm just totally in love. This does fit true to size. I am wearing a size small. And I need another scarf, like I need another hole in my head, but I really use scarves to kind of spruce up any outfit I want. And so I love this one. It is by BP and I can't find it on the website right now, but check back and I will keep adding things that go out of stock so that way you guys can easily find them. But I actually love this. They're very muted colors, the maroon, the brown, the beige, the ivory, the navy blue, the light blue, but I kind of love it because you can add it with a lot of stuff. Now this dress I was actually kind of disappointed in because it's so huge. I ordered a small, but I think that for this, you may even have to size down two sizes in order to get it a flattering fit. I'm holding it in the back right now, so that's how I would like it to fit, but I like the scallop detail on the neckline and I like that it's a t-shirt. I feel like this is something that I could wear to work if I can get it to fit and it would be super cute um, because it's long enough and all of that, it's not see-through, but I just feel like I'm wearing a potato sack here, so this one is going back unless I can find it in a smaller size. All right, got the AC cranking because it is a hot one. I hope that you guys enjoyed part two of this video. I will get part three up on Friday when the sale goes public because I have a feeling they're gonna restock a few items. So I will go back to the mall on Friday. It's okay, I'm gonna be there anyways for a birthday thingy. Anyways, so I hope you guys enjoy this. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about sizing or anything that I didn't cover, just let me know down below. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. Thank you.